Good morning, boys and girls. Bernard here, uh, Saturday morning, because I'm recording this the day before. Thank you, Mr. Merchant, for coming in, uh, basically because I don't want to cough all over you and uh, spread my germs everywhere. Uh, today, we're going back to Matthew's biography of Jesus. It's his account of Jesus' life. And I want to talk to you about two things, listening and obeying. I'm going to show you some pictures, and I want you to look at these people and see whether you would listen to them and obey them. Who's this first picture of? That's right, it's a fireman. And if he turned up and started giving orders, do you reckon you'd listen to him? Do you reckon you'd obey him? I think you would. This next picture is someone else who might turn up. That's right, it's a policeman. In fact, he's a policeman in the most remote police station in all of Australia. If he rocked up on your front doorstep and started talking to you, do you think you'd listen to him? Do you think you'd obey him? I think you would. What's this next picture of? That's right, it's a clown. If he turned up on your front doorstep, do you reckon you'd listen to him or obey him? No, probably you wouldn't. You'd just laugh at him. All right, let's look at our last picture. That's a nurse with a bunch of other nurses. If they turned up and started talking to you, do you think you'd listen to them and obey them? I think you would. Well, let me share to you, share with you a description that's given about another person. It's from Matthew's biography of Jesus, and this is what it says. This is my beloved son. I take delight in him. Listen to him. Now, we don't have a picture there, but we've got something just as good. We've got words that describe a man. Who do you think that man is? That's right. That man is Jesus. And Jesus is God's son. God loves him. God is pleased with him. God has made him the king of the world. What does God say we should do with Jesus? That's right. We should listen to him. We should hear what he says, and we should obey him. Now, I suppose the last question is, how are you going to listen to Jesus? I mean, he's not walking around. He's probably not going to rock up and knock on your front door. Well, the easiest way to listen to Jesus is by reading the Bible. Now, not all of you can read, and some of you might be able to read a book with words this big. Some of you can. But Hearing Jesus, listening to Jesus, is a matter of opening the Bible and reading it. And if you can't read it, why don't you ask mum and dad to do that with you each day so you can listen to Jesus and obey him? Let me pray. Dear God, thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you that you love him, that you are pleased with him, that you've made him the king of the world. Help us as his disciples to listen to him and obey him. Amen.